Hey, welcome back everybody. I really hope you're enjoying this. Um, this one here is uh, Bryson Gray, Message to the World. I don't think this is a music video, but it might be. But uh, let's hear what he's got to say. I get it. You probably hate me. I do not. You probably think all I do is spread hate and cause division. No. Because I'm unafraid to tell homosexuals that they need to repent. You probably think I'm a big meanie because I just say what the Bible says, that these people are detestable, abominable. I can't be more harsh than the Bible because that tells them that they're worthy of death, including the New Testament, Romans 1. At the end of Romans 1, not only are those people worthy of death, but also those that approve of it. I get it. I'm the villain to you. It probably made you delete all my music, unfollow me, I'm too harsh, I'm mean, self-righteous. All because I post the Bible. Being a Christian means to be a follower of Christ. But I understand. You want to have fellowship with the world and fellowship with God. The Bible says you can serve man or serve God. You can't serve both. You got to choose your master. Because whatever church you probably go to, your preacher forgot to tell you that in the book of James, it tells you that if you're a friend of the world, then you're an enemy of God. You probably heard that before. It just didn't sit right with you. Matter of fact, in Matthew 7, Jesus says, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, in thy name have I cast out devils. Have I done many mightiful, well, many works in your name? And Jesus will say to you, depart from me, I never knew you. You probably know that, and a lot of Christians probably stop right there. But the end of that quote is, I never knew you, workers of lawlessness. So he's talking about these OnlyFans models that claim to be Christian, or the unrepentant homosexuals. And I'm not even talking about atheists. I don't even care to talk to atheists. The Bible says you shouldn't call your brother a fool. When it says brother, it is talking about other people that believe in God. Because when it comes to atheists, y'all are fools. Because the Bible says so. In Psalm 14, it says, a fool says in his heart, there's no God. Matter of fact, right... Oh. It says, there's no... <clears throat> fool says in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt and have committed detestable acts. There is no one who does good. The Lord has looked down from heaven upon the sons of mankind. To see if there are any who understand, who seek God. They have all turned aside. As in his heart, there's no God. Matter of fact, right now you're probably watching this video. Like, oh my goodness, Bryson is so self-righteous. Y'all are probably screaming, we all sin, brother. We all live in sin. I was saying it's in Romans where a lot of people stop right where it says, uh, says, you know, we have all fallen short of the glory of God. And sin every day. That's probably what you're thinking <laughs> right now. Or some people are probably mad that I keep the commandments of God. They do that out of ignorance, though. They don't understand that in John 14, Jesus said, those that love me keep my commandments. Now, if by some chance that Bryson is watching this, I do have a question for you. Do you keep the seven feasts of the uh, of the Lord as well? I'm just curious. I am not coming at you. I just want to... I'm curious. They probably haven't read Revelation 12, where it tells you who Satan is waging war against. It isn't all Christians. It's those that keep the commandments of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. I get it, though. A lot of people have had my name in their mouth the last week. A lot of drama. Even Adam Calhoun decided to jump into the drama. 
I, I saw that he, I, I saw your live stream. I was there during your live stream. And then I saw Adam Calhoun post a video afterwards. They don't know who I am. And I watched it, and it's very profanity-laden. I'm surprised he did not name you. I know what y'all thinking. Oh, we got Bryson. His career's over. All because Can't I'm doing my God. job as a Christian. All because I warned wicked people and... As he said, you can't stop God's plan. Homosexuals are wicked people, according to the Bible. It's not just them. Whores, whoremongers. And I understand y'all just defending y'all friends. It's probably why the Bible says don't have fellowship with wicked people. That's probably why in Psalm 1, the first verse tells you not to walk in the counsel of the wicked. Because you have the burden of having to protect and justify wickedness. Which... The Bible says it's an abomination to do in Proverbs 17, 15. And in Ezekiel 3, verses 18 through 19, we're commanded to warn wicked people. We're commanded to. Because if you don't warn them, then their blood is on your hands. I've had to have a pretty difficult conversation with who, the man who was at one point best man at my wedding over this as well. And all he can't, did was come back with, you know, pastor at a church he goes to agrees with it. Very sad. So even though y'all think I'm the villain, I'm the bad guy, because nowadays good is called evil and evil is called good. In reality, my hands are clean. So if you're a Christian and you have a gay friend or a whore friend or a lying friend or a friend that covets, and you don't warn them of their ways, you think you're being nice because you think being nice is a Christian virtue, but it isn't. That's the opposite of what the Bible tells you to do. And I'm not afraid to call it out. So I'm the scapegoat. But in reality, you're not mad at me. Because all I'm doing is quoting the Bible. You're mad at God. In, in reality, you're mad at yourself. You're mad at the person in the mirror. And I know right now you're probably angry, you're screaming at me through the screen. The thing that probably makes you the most upset is that you know that I don't care. I'm meant to be persecuted, duh. I'm supposed to get persecuted for preaching God's word. Matt, have you read Matthew 24? Iniquity is everywhere. People will be offended I will gladly play the role of the villain. You probably deleted my music off your phone. You probably unfollowed me on social media platforms. You probably got my song like Eminem banned on social media. You're probably the reason. Some people bragged about it. Oh, we got your song like Eminem banned. Probably the reason my album Lion Music got banned. You're probably the reason I got banned from so many platforms. You probably think this works. You probably think that we can stop Bryson. Because the, the mainstream conservatives don't promote me. So you Wasn't your album like number one on the Christian charts when it just released? You know, and uh, yeah, I was just talking about that on the other video about how they shut you down over that video and all that. It's, I love it. You can't stop God's plan. Like, ah, he don't have a lot of support. That's what you think. But see, in Matthew 6, 33, it says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and everything will be added unto you. So I know a secret that you don't. God takes care of his children. That's why I'm so bold and I'm not afraid because I know that God takes care of his children. And he just proved it. I just dropped an album, Letters to the Church 2. And this might make a lot of y'all mad as y'all watching this, but it is currently the number one Christian album I, on iTunes for <laughs> three days straight. And it's currently the number one Christian album on Amazon, too. And this is not me bragging. It's not like I sold a million copies. It's not like it's going to make me rich. But it shows you that y'all can't stop what God has planned.
and you can't stop <laughs> God's children. There's a remnant of people rising, especially in the Christian hip hop scene. There's a lot of us are we're, we're not afraid of y'all, especially the LGBT community or the feminist community. One of my favorite, along with Bryce, one of my favorite is uh, Bizzle. That man is not afraid to tell it like it is. He will call people out by name. Look him up too. I might do some of his videos if you think. I might do reactions to some of his videos if you think I should. We're not afraid. But I've already listened to most of his music and uh, so I don't know. We'll figure it out. We're not afraid of getting banned. We're not afraid of persecution. We actually invite the persecution because to us, all it is is confirmation. Y'all bully a lot of Christians by calling them homophobic, transphobic, and all these words. But what weapon do you have when that's taken away to people that don't care about those words? So this is sort of a audio letter to y'all also. Letter to the Church 2 is out now. Please go buy it if you want to support. Leave a bad review if you're upset. Actually, I think he just shared on uh, YouTube and Twitter that somebody left a bad review. And it was kind of funny. They're like, oh, if you're this, this, and this, you'll love it. Yes. Leave a good review if you like it. Either way, I don't stress about tomorrow because I know God got me. I love y'all. I even love the haters. And to all the homosexuals, even the ones that are conservative, y'all need to repent or you will go to hell. Period. That's not me judging you. The Bible already says it in Revelation 21, 8. That actually gives you a list of people who's going to hell. And it's not just about unbelievers. Also, uh, 1 Corinthians 6. Because unbelievers is also on the list. Repent. Let us to the church two out now. Yeah, I, I agree wholeheartedly with everything he just said. I, I got no issues with that. We are called to be persecuted. It is what it is. Um, and I'm not even making any money off of that. <laughs> but it's just, hey, um, Bryson Gray and Tyson James happened to uh, pop up on Spotify one day for me. And I tell you, when... When he says that you know, God takes care of his people, you know, I I was struggling finding music that spoke to me as I'm trying to become a stronger and stronger believer. And then their music just popped up one day and you know, God took care of me on that. But Thank you guys for watching. Have a blessed day and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.